Hello friend, uh, I hope you are doing well. So finally we have managed to complete project requirements. So in this project I will show you how to do ESP32 OTA update using Bluetooth Classic. So for this purpose I have created a mobile application in Flutter. Uh, so I have mirrored my cell phone uh, on screen to show you uh, the demo of the work. So this is my ESP32 code. Okay. So in the ESP32 code, it's I have already uploaded this code, and now the ESP32 is expecting the device to get connected through Bluetooth Classic. So I gonna open my Bluetooth application. So this is the front page of the Bluetooth application. So before getting the OTA process to start you have to already pay the devices so if I check my pair devices <coughs> I have to first turn on my Bluetooth yeah. let's start the app again ok get pair devices Now I got the pair devices actually the permission was denied. So it's asking this one is ESP32 Bluetooth receiver is actually my device. So I will select the one. Okay, it's connected. Now I have to select the firmware.bin file that we use for the OTA update. So what I will do, I will go to select file. Uh, this is the firmware.bin file. So I selected that one and once the file is selected I could see the name of the file on the screen and I will press do OTA so it started uh, transmitting the file actually sending the file from the Bluetooth application to the ESP so if I see here I am continuously receiving the chunks of the file so we'll wait Okay, the file has sent successfully and if I see the message last, so chunks written successfully, all chunks are received. The file size was 26,000, um, 2,64,096 bytes. That's exactly the same we have sent and see, I have sent a simple sample file, hello. So it has done the OT. So this was it. Uh, I hope you like the work. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.